Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing the March MTV Pro. I am going to be honest, I did open the box, and there's one bait that I did open. It's some jigs, we'll get to that. They're pretty daggone cool. I've never, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I never really fished with jigs that much. And I know it's like, oh my god, you do fish with jigs? Every bass guy has. But, I don't know, I just didn't because I grew up on a pond using spinning gear. That was pretty much in crankbaits. So, alright, here's the box. Um, you got your sticker, cool sticker, big sticker, um, Dibble Digest. Um, you can read that if you want, I never read it. And uh, the bait card. Alright, did we get, okay, big card, so we're just going to go down the list, it's not always in price order, but we'll just go with it. So the first one is the um, Hunt for Center Crawfish Crank, oh, I forgot to tell you, Max is behind the camera with me, Max. Hi. Alright, so, um, I am going to, um, Max had, uh, we, the first one is the Hunt for Center Crawfish Crank um, from Live Target. Now Max has some experience with Live Target. Uh, Max, uh, he he likes this one particular lure that he's used a lot. Um, so what what is the lure that you use? Live Target perch jerk bait. Um, what didn't you catch your biggest bass on that? No. Oh, what did you catch your biggest bass on? Um, those claws. Uh, oh. oh yeah, we'll get to one of these. We have a special thing that nobody on the internet's doing. We figured it out on our own. And it, like, I think it's more realistic than a jig. I'll say that it's probably better than a jig. But anyway, let's just get into this. So, this, this is a weird crankbait, just looking at it. Uh, alright, here it is. Okay. There's, oh, Jesus, the instructions for the freaking box. Okay. Oh, there's the crankbait. Put it down on the back of this so you can see it. This will be where we'll put the baits. Flip it over and whatnot. Um, pretty good crawl presentation for the most part. All right. Here is a live targets, like showing of how to use the bait. They say cast it. On the rock ledges, they show how much this is normal, how a craw crank bait looks. That's a real crayfish swimming, and then there's their their bait. Um, yeah, retrieve slow. Oh, wait, that was the Spanish side. Um, so it'll dive six to eight feet. Oh, which you're going to have crayfish at, you know what I mean? Um, this would be, it's got a good rattle in it. Uh, hooks are not as good as the jerkbait hooks. They're they're decent for it, but the jerkbait hooks. What do you think about those, Max? Good. You, good. They're they're actually like really nice hooks. But yeah, pretty overall. I mean, I think it would catch decent fish. Um. Yeah. Right. Um. Second thing on the bait card is the spin tail. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna pull out the bait. Uh, the spin tail by Bagley. Okay. I don't think it, oh yeah. This. I don't know what this is. I've heard. I've seen these spin tails. I've never had one. Okay. But um, let me read about it for a second. Um, must have any in any exciting edition. Designed to swim with amazing tail action, easy casting, purpose. For sure. Work it on top, or so it can do top water if you go slow, I guess, or two to three feet on down. You can also cast jerk and twitch it and let it pause, rise head first, like a real minnow. Okay, so it's kind of like a jerk bait slash top water kind of thing. Right there, I'll open it up. It's pretty big. I mean, um, as you guys will find out with our channel, uh, we mostly fish ponds. Well. I don't know. We do a lot on Lake Erie, but uh, 
so we might this year go for smallmouth turtle um, or something. But so here it is, pretty big, good. It looks like a jerk bait that they just put this on. Let's have a sharp looks. Bruno! No. Um, so, yeah, I mean, here it is. We got a little red under there. I don't know what coloration. It's kind of just a minnow coloration. Triple hook. <laughs> um, alright. So, next on the list is the Oh, the finesse jigs, the things that I opened, um, made by Z-Man. These are made, this is made by Bagley, our uh, first one live target. Z-Man, protect Z Shmarns Shem micro fishing. I don't know, you can read that for yourself. I can't read worth a dang. All right. So I did open these ones. Um, they're actually weird. When, like, I have not seen from the jigs I fished with, uh, I mostly have like I have a couple of like like just normal jigs and then I have some uh, oh you open it from the side all right so they came in this bag this is the paper all right here's the jigs comes with two very small for a jig I mean. I don't, they're relatively heavy, I mean, for the most part. There it is. Um, they do have this little, these two pieces of wire, pretty stiff wire. Uh, and it's a one, size one hook. I mean, when I look at this, this looks like something for big bluegill to me. Like, no, I don't know if we'll ever film at them, but some of the ponds we fish, you can catch 10-inch bluegill out of them. And they would eat something like this, wouldn't you think, Max? Mm-hmm. Um, this would be good. Um, we're going to have to speed up. Apparently, we're running out of time. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, the fire. Okay. Um, so, this is a uh, size one hook. Um, we'll probably film it this year with our friend Ben, if he goes. Um, in the Detroit River, we have white bass. They run out of Lake Erie, and you catch so many so fast. Two hours, we caught 105. Well, we kept 105. That was when you used to be able to keep a lot more. Now they put down the limit, but uh, n now it's like it's still. You if you go on the right time, you catch them, and these would work really good for them. So I'll let you guys get a good look. Try to make them look neat. Small jigs, I mean, I think they're made more for bed fish, and they do come with a trailer. Um, I don't think they come here. I don't know if the trailer's on there next. No, they're called the crust, crustiles, crustales. Alright, crusties. Okay. Um, and they're these. Little tiny, you can see them better. These little tiny soft plastic. Uh, two inch. I'll open it. I'll pull one out. Um, you, you want me to put it on a jig? No? Okay. But I'm guessing these are for the little jigs. Oh my, oh my. They're pretty small. There you go. I mean, it's pretty cool. Feels like a normal craw. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of any sort. My favorite craw of all time, and Max will agree, he kind of made this up. Is yum cross. They're the best of the best. And not one of these jigs, just a normal, like a panfish or a walleye jig. That will be the best combo. You tuck it in the back of the yum craw, it just looks like a crawfish swimming in the water. I'll have to find some footage of one swimming. We have one in the fish tank swimming somewhere. But uh, yeah, alright. So that there's the crawfish. Uh, and those are, uh, sorry, um, both of those, the the jigs were four five dollars. Uh, the crustales were uh, four fifty, well four ninety nine and then four forty nine. 
the spin tail, the one before that was uh, six or five ninety nine, and then the live target was twelve fifty. Live targets are expensive, but they are good baits. Oh shoot! Uh, net bait. Oh, next one is we get. I'm guessing everybody else who has MTP people get a lot of these. I mean, this company. I I don't mind them. They give you a lot of a lot of baits. You know what I mean? Um. It's, I don't know what these are exactly. They are the uh, Baby Mad Packy or Packa. Oh. What the heck is this? I guess it's a, it's a lizard. Okay. I didn't look. I thought it was like a something. I don't even know what it was. Alright, it's a lizard. I'll put it on there. Salamander. Salamander, yeah. Salamander. I don't know. It's a weird looking film, man. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it'll work for whatever you're trying to catch, but it's its different, you know, and uh, that is made by Netbait, and uh, that is also for 45 I think, yeah. All right. Okay, uh, next on the list is the premium spinnerbait. That's what it's called. It's made by Jenko Fishing. It's not like a Lucky Craft. I mean, it's a nice spinnerbait for $7. But it's not going to be like your Lucky Craft. or You know what I mean? It's going to be like a, a normal spinnerbait. I mean, it's so nice. It's actually... Oh, my God. It's got a huge skirt. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Longest skirt I've ever seen on a spinnerbait. That would almost want to make me put a trailer hook on that. Because I'm afraid that they would, smaller fish would hit this. I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to work. I like the blades. But that's a weird skirt. I've never really seen. Have you seen a skirt like that? No. The blades could be bigger. But it's a it's a good basic spinnerbait, you know. Big hook for a spinnerbait. You know, well, spinnerbaits usually have big hooks. Big hook, probably. Good. It's a nice spinnerbait. I mean, for what it is. And then the last thing on the list is the real deal shad. Made from big bite baits. These little suckers. These look like good Chad, like, imitations. Um, we'll announce, or I'll, I'll announce it now. We are going to Alabama. Um, um shoot. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're flying down uh, March 31st, so coming up. And um, we um, are, le or we're staying until, we're staying a week. And uh, we are going to do some pond fishing at one of my uh, grandmother's friend's ponds, uh, Mr. Matt. And uh, we're going to go and we're going to, there's big catfish in there, going to do some catfish fishing. Biggest bluegills you'll ever see. I mean, these things are giants, like for bluegills. And then there's bass in there. Um, but I don't know exactly what kind of bass are in there because... <laughs> He said there's big mouth bass, large mouth, and then he said there's Florida bass, which I don't know if he means, but he said that, um, it's two different things, so I thought, oh, maybe there's Florida strain bass, and then I was like, is there peacocks, which I would not think that there would be, I don't know, we'll find out, but, um, and then we're going down to Gulf Shores, Alabama, I know Alabama has, like, no ocean, but we're fishing off the pier, uh, if you Google it on YouTube, um, other channels have done it. Uh, it's a cool, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're, we're going actually, I'll, I'll keep it a, a surprise on exactly what we're going for. We're going for reds, redfish, trout, sea trout, um, whiting, pompano, maybe cobia and kingfish off of this pier, but I don't think so. But these might work in the ocean. But okay, let's get back to it. These are the real deal shit. Oh my god, this is the weirdest textured soft plastic. 
They feel like dry. They feel like scales. Scaly. Mm. But it's like not coming off on your fingers. It's weird. It, they're not like like a like a squishy like kind of oily soft plastic at all. They feel like exactly like scales. I don't know. I think this is a pretty good presentation right here. I'm not sure what they were going for exactly on the tail. It's split. I mean, it, I, I, it's cool. Maybe give it more of an action, but it's nice flukes. I like Ripple Shad, but uh, I'll have to show you some of my favorite flukes. They're Charlie, made from Charlie's worms. They are really small flukes. Hey! And uh, that you will catch some decent bass on those. All right. That is everything. So I was gonna announce the Alabama trip and uh, go over these baits. Um, thanks for watching Nick and Max fishing. And uh, I know we haven't posted very much, but um, I don't know. Go outside. Like look outside. We got like five inches of snow last night or yesterday. And the ponds all decided to refreeze. We had like 70 in February, and then it's this. So we're kind of, I don't know. Ice fishing season was not very good this year. It warmed up way too fast. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on Nick and Max Fishing.